Okay, here we are. May 1st, Saturday, and we had a big rain last night. And now, we've got a big mound. That moves. <laughs> It's like a waterbed under grass. Now, if you recall when we had the dike put in, and it came down where those rocks are to the side of the wall, made a 90, and then came down here to where the rock sock pit was over there. And this area, every time it rains, is still soaking wet, but it's been the worst in this area. And we're thinking that the drain line had broken here. Because even before this waterbed under the sod has appeared, when I cut the grass, if you can see it a little bit scalped there, I guess it was raised when I cut the grass Wednesday. So, we've got a major problem here. And all of this has been soaking wet. Under the swings, you can see it's a little muddy. Even after a week after a regular rain, it's still wet. But one thing. It was just starting to dry out. Yeah, the pit started to dry out somewhat. Yeah, usually you sunk into it, but that's because it's all down there now. Yeah. And you can see what the, the neighbors had done before they left. Uh, I think it washed out or blew off the top and ran down the that's at least the second time that's happened. Apparently this little thing that they did can't handle the water either. It looks like it blew their lid off. Because Thursday, Mark went and tracked down his lid and put it back on. So apparently heavy rains will blow that sucker or come under and peel it back and wash it away. So as you can see, we still have issues. I'm going to go step on the waterbed. Ooh! Ooh! Some wild stuff.